In their influential 1998 paper, The Extended Mind, Andy Kark and David Chalmers argue that the mind should not be confined to what happens inside the skull. Instead, cognition is a process that extends into the world, shaped and supported by the tooled environments that we interact with. According to this view, external objects that play a reliable role in our thinking, such as a notebook, calculator, or even a smartphone, can become part of our cognitive system. The, boundary of the boundaries of the mind, in other words, do not stop at the skin or skull, but they, out, they stretch outward into the world around us. One of the famous examples that they have is Otto's notebook. Otto, who suffers from memory impairment, relies on his notebook to record addresses, schedules, and other vital information. When Otto wants to recall information where a museum is located, he doesn't search his biological memory, he looks it up in his notebook. In this sense, the notebook functions just like memory would for someone without impairment. Clark and Chalmers argue that the notebook is not merely a tool, but actually part of Otto's mind, since it reliably stores and retrieves information in the same way a biological system would. This idea has radical implications for modern life. If Otto's, count, if Otto's notebook counts as a part of his mind, what about the smartphone phones we carry, or the cloud-based AI that we consult for answers, or even the cultural systems like language and mathematics that structure our thoughts? The extended mind hypothesis suggests that humans can already be hybrid beings with cognition distributed across brain, body, and world. Our sense of self and consciousness may not be an isolated process, but rather an ongoing collaboration between the brain and environment it inhabits. 